Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Sunday, it is January 17th and I know that date quite well because guess what? Yesterday was Steve's birthday. Yay! He is another year older and we'll talk a little bit about what we did as soon as we get everybody on. Hi Becky, hi Robin, hi Connie, welcome. I'm gonna bring you guys up on my um, iPad. I wanted to use my fancy software that I told you about the last, I don't know, a couple times I've been live. But um, I'm still not feeling comfortable with it and it seems to pull my system down and make it go really slow. So that makes me worry. And then sometimes I feel like the picture is a little blurry and then other times it looks fine so I don't want bad quality either so not too happy about that but <laughs> we'll get it figured out and I will use it at least once right we'll see how that goes okay let me bring up my <clears throat> oh great it's asking me to log in that's not gonna happen <laughs> I don't know how to log in <laughs> Just get me where I'm supposed to be. You guys ever feel like that? It's like, oh my lord, what's it asking me now? <laughs> there I am. Okay, this will help me see the comments. Let me see if that'll... Does that work better? No, I don't think so. I think this is better. All right, how's everybody on this Sunday? It's, it's not too bad weather-wise here in Wisconsin. It's overcast and, you know, it's winter. Ugh. There's no sunshine in the in the cheese state in the winter. <laughs> and Steve was just kind of complaining about that the other day. Like, it should be nice if we could see the sunshine. I said, well, let's get on a plane and go to Mexico. I'm in. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So, <clears throat> this week, again, super duper busy week. Um, I, I, I just can't seem to keep caught up on my emails. So, I was up till 2 o'clock this morning. After, well, okay, so it was Steve's birthday yesterday. So we usually get together with his buddies from high school. There's two other guys that he went to high school with. And they both have birthdays this last week also. So three January birthday boys. And we went um, about 40 miles south of here and got together with them at one of their houses for just a, you know, dinner and watch the Packer game. Yay, Packers won. <laughs> so we did that yesterday. And um, I'd say Steve said he'd probably be home in bed by 8 o'clock last night, <laughs> but he wasn't. We didn't get home till probably maybe 10. And then I worked till 2 a.m. because I just really needed to get caught up on all these um, emails. So, plus we released our new website this week. So that's created some questions, which is normal, right? And so I got caught up on my emails at 2 o'clock this morning. I was feeling pretty good about that. I feel like a big weight has been lifted off my shoulder because I hate to be behind like that. Um, what else happened this week? I got to Granny sit all day on Monday. I told you guys I was going to do that. Val and I had the best time ever. Like I did nothing else except just dedicate my day to her. And we played and we napped together, which was wonderful. And um, it was perfect. Hi, Haley. I see Haley's on here. If you guys, I'll see if I can remember to share the pictures Haley shared on her page today with you guys because they put little tiny pigtails in Val's hair. It's getting long enough we can have these little tiny little pigtails. It's so cute. But anyways, I'm excited about that. And then Haley asked me if I would want to watch Val for them every Wednesday afternoon. And I said, ah, heck yeah. So... I'm going to get lots of granny time every week. I think that's fabulous. <clears throat> and Val's coming for waffles tomorrow. Haley asked if I would make breakfast this morning. And I said, no, I already ate breakfast. And I got a busy day ahead. <laughs> and she goes, well, what about tomorrow? And I'm like, yep. Because they have off work. Both of them do. Her and Jared. So they're all three of them coming over for waffles. And if you guys remember, I shared my homemade waffle recipe in this on my Facebook group right here. So if you go to my Facebook group when we're done stamping tonight, there's a search bar in the group and I think you can search for waffles and you'll come up with the post and you'll see my 
my um, recipe. Sorry, I'm trying to read at the same time and think and talk. That's hard. <laughs> so we celebrated. The Packers won. My big John update is that John's been going to work. That's all I got. I look out my kitchen window. John's work truck isn't there. Um, later I look out the kitchen window, it's back. So I'm pretty sure he's been going to work every day. I don't have much else to report than that. <laughs> but, um, I'll keep you posted. Don't worry. Then, I am working out the final details of a online game night. So, you guys are probably familiar with these. I know Dina does one. But um, it's fun to play like a numbers type bingo game and also stamp in between. And then um, I haven't got all the details figured out yet. But when I do, I will be sure to post it for you guys. But I'm thinking it's going to be the second Wednesday of every month starting February 10th. And um, anybody can follow along with the stamping. Anybody can play the bingo. But the people who are going to be winning prizes are the people who are going to be ordering the make and take packet. So I'm thinking we'll do five cards, two of each. You get to make two of each with the make and take packet. And then it'll have some goodies in it also. So I'll get all those details together with the price and... Um, registration link and the whole deal so you guys can figure out if that's something you'd be interested in. But I did um, Stampin' Bingo with my team at our Christmas. We had a, did a virtual Christmas party in December. It was so much fun. Like I'm like, oh, I should totally do this with all you guys. So yay. Connie says, yay, game night. I'm excited. I'm so excited you're excited, Connie, because I think it'll be a lot of fun. So um, Marianne saying, have fun tonight. Oh, we will. <laughs> Don't worry. I have some great cards for you. We're going to be playing with some new products. So that's exciting. Then, um, the other thing that happened this week, if case, just in case anybody missed it, our Stamp Happy Academy went live to the public. And Dina Barb and I have been working on this for quite a while. If you'll remember in November, Dina and I took a road trip out to Wyoming this is one of the things that we were working on. And, um, what's up? Are you coming in? Okay. Come on in. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, you guys. Don't trip and fall over my stuff. <laughs> you know Ready? that you have a nice big office. I know. Yeah, it's up there. My camera's right here. Hi. <laughs> Just wanted to say thank you for the birthday wishes. We had a great Aww. day due to my wife. She's wonderful. Aw, how sweet. Guess who got tiny hands? <laughs> I know I should be stamping with them. <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> All right, go away. Have a great night. So yeah, so if you guys saw my pictures from Christmas, Steph or um, Haley bought Porter, which is one of the grandkids, a set of tiny hands, and they're hysterical. And we had so much fun with them, just doing really goofy things like itching your face. You kind of pull them into your sleeve, then you just got this little hand sticking out. And <laughs> we did a lot of funny stuff with them, so that was funny. But I should have my tiny hands because when you buy a pack of them, you get. 10 hands. So five sets, right? <laughs> Anyways, back to Stamp Happy Academy. Um, if you love to stamp and you want a fun, happy, uplifting place to hang out, this is the website for you. So we are going to be um, learning how to create fabulous new projects, techniques, um, fun folds, and we're going to have a great time doing it. The website is free to team members at a basic membership um, platform or, yeah, we'll, we'll get all the words down. But anyways, for my team members, the basic membership is free, the basic subscription. Basic subscription is $19.95 to everybody else, and it includes a catalog kickoff that we have going on with the JJ Mini catalog, it's right now. The catalog kickoff is going right now. And um, it's a two week catalog kickoff with lots of fun things going on in there. There's gonna be mystery stamping, 
card challenges, prizes, ordering specials, and three live classes. Now, <clears throat> prizes um, are only for um, people in the United States, okay, because we can't be shipping stuff to all over the world. But the first challenge drawing is happening tomorrow morning, and the first challenge that I put out there was a color challenge. And I think there's like, I don't know, about 50 people who have submitted cards for this challenge. And it's super fun to see all these different ideas using the colors that I selected. So whether it's a layout challenge, a technique challenge, a color challenge, a fun fold challenge, it's really cool to see different people doing all kinds of different things. So that, um, let's see. There is a special host code that's shown in the um, Facebook group for people to do the order, to place their order with to get an ordering special. There's going to be four online classes a month included in the Stamp Happy Academy basic membership. That's an $80 value for $19.95. And in that catalog kickoff, which is included with the basic membership, Barb is doing a live stamping class on Monday. I will be doing one, I think, on the 21st, which is Thursday. And then Dina will, I think, be doing one the following week. So three live classes in the catalog kickoff. Now, if you don't, well, so first of all, let's go back to Stamp Happy Academy. Premium membership for Stamp Happy Academy includes all of the things I just listed, but it also includes three live classes, which are called Stamp Happy Live every single month. Um, and Dina, Barb, and I will each be doing one of them, and we're going to be sharing templates and layouts and um, how to make multiples using the same paper, fun folds, all kinds of great stuff. Premium membership is $34.95, and... Um, if you want to just do the catalog kickoff, that's $10. But again, remember, if you're on one of our teams, you get the Stamp Happy Academy basic membership for free. It's a huge benefit, right, of being on our teams. And of course, being on a team, whether you're going to make a business out of it or be a discount shopper, you, um, you're you going to love taking advantage of all the free stuff that I give away to my team and being part of something much bigger. And when I say free stuff, I'm not talking necessarily products. I don't give away tons of products to my team. But um, lots of content, lots of online classes, lots of ideas. We have a Facebook group that is active every single day. We share all kinds of stuff on there. It's just fun to be part of something bigger. So if you're interested in joining my team, as a discount shopper or a business builder, either one, let me know. I can send you a link that will show you all the details about it. It's only $99. Uh, you get to choose $125 in free product. You get five packs of designer series paper during celebration, which lasts until the end of February. And um, you get to be part of my team. And you get a 20% discount on all your future orders. So that's really cool. Then... Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. if you want to do the Stamp Happy Academy, all you have to do is go online. There's, there's, um, doo -doo 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 live. hang on just a second. Um, there's links on my Facebook page. There's links on my blog where you go to Stamp Happy Live. In the very top right corner, you're going to click on sign up. Just like you would go sign up for a Facebook account, sign up for an Instagram account. You're going to sign up for a Stamp Happy Live or Stamp Happy Academy account. Click on that, put in your information, it'll ask you for your email address, your name, whatever, and now you've created an account. If you're on my team, that's all you do, okay, because this website is included for you. Within 48 hours, one of us, and usually Barb, she is our um, CEO of Membership Services. <laughs> I love that title. I gave it to her. Um, <laughs> She will usually have you put into a category within 48 hours based on your membership. Now, if you are not on my team, you do the same thing. Click on that sign up, fill in your information to create an account. Then you need to go over in the body of the home page and select which type of membership you would like. Basic membership for $19.95, premium membership for $34.95, or perhaps you just want to do the catalog kickoff for $10. So... But at the catalog kickoff at $10, for $19.95, you get to have a whole month of access to Stamp Happy Academy. I don't know. 
it's completely up to you. There's something there for everyone. So the one thing that we do ask is going together on this website is a big collaboration for Barb, Dina, and I, right? We're in this together, all three of us. But we are still maintaining our Stampin' Up! businesses separately. And what that means is that if you've been ordering from me, ordering Stampin' Up! product out of the catalogs in the online store, you continue to order from me. If you've been ordering from Barb, you continue to order from her. And if you've been ordering from Dina, continue to order from Dina, okay? Still maintaining separate Stampin' Up! businesses. We're just doing this website as a collaboration. Okay, Tracy wants to know, if you miss the live, do you still get access? Tracy, everything will be recorded. Um, to be a part of Stamp Happy Live, you don't even have to have a Facebook account. We are going to be going live on YouTube, live on Facebook, but we'll bring it all back to the um, website and give you links where you can go to watch them live or you can watch them after the live is over, just like you do. If you miss my live tonight, you can watch it later tonight, tomorrow morning, because it's on my Facebook page. All of these lives will be held on the um, Stamp Happy Academy website. So that was a really, really good question. And I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to do a little question and answer session. If you have any other questions about Stamp Happy Live and the membership. Um, yeah, uh, Sue wants to know if the info to join is on my blog. Of, yes, of course it is. It's also on this Facebook page. But um, we'll do a question and answer after we're done stamping. And that way you guys have some time to think about what you might like to ask me. And then I will be dedicated to watching your questions come in. Because a lot of times when I have so many people scrolling by, you know, there's 514 people on here right now. And if everybody, if like, if a quarter of you start asking questions like right now, it goes by and I don't even see it. So I want to dedicate some time at the end to um, answer your questions about it. So think about what you'd like to ask. If you have a question, write it down. We'll take a look at the end. Wendy wants to know, she says, I'm part of the team. How do I take advantage of the basic Stamp Happy Academy? Well, Wendy, all of our online classes are going to be housed on this website. The nice thing about this is right now when you're as a part of my team, I will email you my online class PDF files, but then you have to keep track of them, right? Where did you put them on your computer? Did you accidentally delete that email? It happens all the time. I do it myself. So one thing that's going to be really nice about Stamp Happy Academy is all of those files, all those online class PDF files are going to be housed in one place, which is going to make it super easy for you to find them and not have to go searching all over your computer and then not have them and have to contact me to get them again, which is fine, by the way. If you ever have that happen, just email me and I'll be happy to send it to you again. But a lot of times you're ready to go at 10 o'clock at night and suddenly you can't find the file and I'm not online to get it to you right now. You know what I mean? It's like, rrr, I hate it when that happens. But, um, and taking advantage of the Stamp Happy Academy, you're gonna get all of those online classes. You can be part of the catalog kickoff right now. Um, you will be able to be involved in the live catalog kickoff classes Barb, Dina, and I are doing but you're going to get all of the content. The only thing that you're gonna be missing is the three Stamp Happy Live classes each month. Right now we got a catalog kickoff with three live classes. That's different. That's only gonna happen when we have a new catalog. But each month, the Stamp Happy Premium membership is going to have Stamp Happy Lives three times a month with one of each of us. So if you wanna do that, as a team member, you're going to go down and click on the, um, Stamp Happy Live only, and that's $20. So you can certainly do that too. Okay, I am going to, I'm, I'm scrolling by just a ton of questions, you guys, and I'm really sorry, but I could spend all night. We're gonna do question and answer at the end. So, yay. Um, Sarah says you're always online at 10 p.m. I know most of the time I'm online till two in the morning, right? <laughs> Thanks, Sarah, that was cute. Um, so anyways, that's what the Stamp Happy Academy is all about. We'll answer some questions at the end. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I think you're going to absolutely love it. So I just wanted to remind, I have a Penny Freeman 
P-E-N-N-E, you won a punch and a roll of ribbon on my Facebook Live last week. And I actually sent you a private message on your Facebook page telling you I need your address, but I haven't heard from you yet. So please send me your address. You can private message me on Facebook. You can email me at kelly at a stamp above.com so that I can get this out in the mail to you. I want to send you your prizes, Penny. All right, next up, we are going to do prizes. I did drawings a little bit earlier before I came on. And we have three ways to win. The first way is by leaving a comment. So if you are new to me, or maybe you're not new, but you just forgot about this, you always want to leave a comment here someplace. Because when you leave a comment, you're going to get entered in a door prize drawing. And I give away three every week. The first one are these adorable hearts. Oh my goodness, white and red hearts. I've given quite a few packs of these away. These are the resin heart embellishments. And for commenting on my Facebook Live last week is Becky Blumen from Lakeville, Minnesota. These are yours. So I believe, Becky, I do not have your address. If you could please get it to me via email or a private message. Um, email is kelly at stampabove.com so I can get those sent out to you. Also, the next way that you can win a prize or get put in a drawing is by sharing this video. And you can share this video right now. So if you click on that share button, it'll go, it'll, it'll share to your profile picture or your profile. And that'll get you entered for another drawing. And I have some of these fabulous beaded pearls. I know you can't really see them, but there are three little pearls in a cluster that all put together and they're super, super pretty little embellishments. The winner of these is Marilyn Curbis of Lake Havu City, Arizona. So congratulations, Marilyn. I do have your address and I will be sending these out tomorrow. I see Lisa just popped in here from Phillips, Wisconsin. Hi, Lisa. You're up in one of my favorite places. Next up, for placing an order, I have a high tide, and I believe that this was given to me, I want to say by Terry Mullinex, I'm thinking. If I'm wrong, let me know. But um, somebody donated this for me to give away because they had two of them. This is the high tide stamp set, absolutely gorgeous stamp set. This is great for masculine cards, too. This is for placing an order with me in the last week. And my winner for this is Sue Knaus. And Sue is in Ackley, Minnesota. Congratulations, Sue. I will have that out in the mail tomorrow. All right, you guys. I think we might be ready to stamp. Let me take a look at my bins here. I think I want to do this one first. And, oh my gosh, we are going to be using the Fine Art floral. Oh, so delicious. Not even kidding. This is the most beautiful paper. I absolutely love it. I am going to um, turn some lights on here. I know that my lighting is still bad. I just called Fred. Well, I messaged Fred. I sent Fred a text message. Fred is my guy that remodeled my whole office. I just sent Fred a text message and I said, Fred, I love my office. I've been living in it for a little while and I'm ready to do something with my desk because the desk isn't working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Fred come in here and design something for me. So I'm going to take a countertop from all the way over here, over in that corner. Let's look over there. Can you see over there? All the way over in that corner and all the way around over here under the window. And we are going to build a desk. And it's going to come out like an L and then go over there somewhere for more people. <laughs> like how I... But anyways, why did I start telling you that? Oh, <laughs> because... I know, squirrel! Because I know my lighting's bad. I know my, my glasses have dots of light on them. That shouldn't be happening. That's very annoying. It's very distracting for me. I'm sure it is for you too. My lighting is just not good in here. And so once I get this done, we're going to see how my lighting is because I'm thinking if I'm going to be turned facing the wall and the camera this way doing all my stamping, I'm thinking I won't have these light problems on my glasses and weird lighting and whatever. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, just wanted to let you know changes are coming. 
I'm uh, feeling really good about my space. I'm starting to get more things cleaned up and put away. Would you guys like to see my new stuff that came this week? Let me see if I can. Hang on. I don't want anybody throwing up, but I do need to take this out of here anyways. Looky, looky. I got my, my um, where am I? My ribbon holder and my punch holder and another punch holder right here. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I don't know. I should have my little hands, my tiny hands. But there's all some of my new stuff that came in. Finally got here. You can see over there that my door is still not finished. Fred's going to do all the doors in our upstairs at the same time. So Haley and I got some decorations. We've got a new clock and we've got that jar thing. But those, those greenery things aren't for that. It's just sitting there because I don't know what to do with it yet. But yeah, so we're getting some stuff put together. Yay! Okay, I'm going to turn you guys around. Maybe... Um, there we go. Okay, time to stamp. So hang tight. Let me get this situated. And yeah, I wish I could have used my fancy software thing so that I didn't have to do this anymore tonight. But I'll tell you what, I just really wasn't very comfortable with it. And I didn't want to have a disaster tonight. And the other thing is that I think it makes my system run really slow. Hang on, I'm still trying to put my cord away. There we go. I think it makes my system run really slow. And so that's going to make it blurry and not good quality. And I just I just didn't care for it. So as soon as I get a little bit better at that, we're going to, we'll, we'll use it and see how it goes. Now, fine art floral. So I know that you guys can see this little piece of paper, right? But what I really wanted to do was show you the whole pack of paper big because I don't think that little tiny thing really does it justice. But hang on because as I was trying to get ready for tonight, I set a whole bunch of stuff over here on top of my paper that's spread out all over my desk. And I've got kind of a mess going on over here. Here I come. I thought I could just run right over there and pick it up, but I couldn't. I had to move stuff out of the way. And one of the things was a big glass jar, and oh my gosh, I'm like, oh, if I drop that and break it, that'll be great. Look at this. I love how this is kind of an ombre effect. It's like got some swishes, watercolory looking thing. Look at that. And this is like those paintings that use the texture paint. I always think those are really cool. Okay, so here we go. This is, this is the front, this is the back. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, hang on a second. This is the front, this is the back. And again, with that watercolory, messy, paint-looking thing. I don't know, it's just cool looking. What do you call this? You guys know what to call this? I don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> Sherry says, such beautiful paper. The artisans are amazing. They really are. They really are amazing. They come up with just the most gorgeous stuff. Here's the next one. And we're going to be using this one tonight. And uh, I love the colors in this. Oh, and I think I don't have, I've been using quite a bit of this. Let me see, is this the same? Let me look. Nope, okay. So this is the front. And then this is the back. Look at how delicious that is. I don't know what it is about that, but I just really love it. Then we have this one. And I used quite a bit of this too tonight. So I've got this one and then this on the back. Love that. And this one and this one. So this is, this is the, the front, this is the back. Look at how pretty that is. My goodness, right? So, I know I've got this here, but I just don't really think it does it justice until you see the giant paper, right? Let me toss that back over there. So, I'm showing you all of this tonight. This is going to be a kickoff for my fine art floral kit class for the month of January. Every month I do a kit class. And this particular kit class, what did I do with all of my details? Hang on a second. I had them someplace, and now I don't know what I did with them. So we're going to have to wing it. Doggone it. Um, yeah, I don't know what I did with it. Anyways, 
It's going, it's $55. I remember that part. And it's going to include the fine art floral paper. It is going to include some ribbon. This beautiful, beautiful gold. It's got like a gold thread in it. It's weaved gold thread ribbon. And hang on just a second because I've got this on my blog and I'm going to bring it up because I can't seem to locate my sheet with all the details on it. I hate it when you do stupid stuff like that. <laughs> Maybe you guys don't do stupid stuff like that, but I do quite frequently, actually. And it seems to work for me. I don't know. Oh, gold glitter dots. So hang on. We got some glitter dots coming. Let me bring in this other basket. We got two of these beautiful cards that we're going to be making. These are the gold glitter dots. Look at how pretty those are. So this ribbon, this. The designer series paper. Now I'm going to do something different this time. The designer series paper. I cannot mail you 12 by 12 paper, okay? That just costs a fortune. So I usually cut it down to 6 by 6. This time I'm going to cut the paper 4 by 6. And that way you've got a card front and you can cut off the bottom and use it for strips on the inside or whatever you want. But 4 by 6 is what you're going to get out of the fine art paper. You're also going to get the painted texture 3d embossing folder and a pre-cut pack of cardstock that will make eight cards there's four different designs you get to make two of each now this comes with a pdf file with video tutorials written instructions and measurements so you can make more if you choose this kit again is 55 dollars, and it includes all of this stuff if you already have this embossing folder, this is $9. You can pick anything else in the catalog, okay? And I will um, substitute it for you. You can add on the stamp set and the gorgeous dies. Here's our stamp set, art gallery. Gorgeous dies that coordinate with it. You can add that on for an additional $58. That does include tax and shipping. And then, if I wanted to leave this open to you guys because I know a lot of you have already bought this product. This is the Gilded Leafing and the Heat and Stick Powder. So a lot of you have already purchased this, so I didn't want to include it in the kit. So what I did do is if you don't have it, you're going to want it to complete the cards in the kit. You can add that onto your order for $17. So I just wanted to let you know there's a form on my blog that you will fill out. And um, I'll share the link with you. I shared it earlier yesterday, I think, on this Facebook page. But I'll share it with you again. And um, you fill that form out. It's going to ask you the questions. Do you want to add the, gold, the gilded leafing and this um, heat and stick powder? Do you need to substitute the embossing folder? Do you want to add on the stamp set and the dies? All those questions are on there. You just click yes or no. So super, super simple, right? All right, I am going to bring in my first card. I'm really excited about this, and I think you guys are going to love this. I found that as I was creating, and I'm still working on my class cards for this, but as I was creating my class, I found this really, really easy to work with. Sometimes I have a hard time coming up with ideas when I first start using a new bundle and this one was not like that at all now I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat and this is that's what this is it's a piercing mat it's got just a little bit of give to it but I cover it with um, printer weight paper tape it on there and this is what I like to use to stamp on this is especially helpful with our bigger photopolymer stamps you need just a tiny bit of cushion if you ever have a bigger stamp and you find that your images aren't coming out good when you're stamping on your hard surface, that's why. You need to bring in a little bit of padding. It's the weirdest thing you'd think a hard surface was better, but it's not. So, just so you know about that. Now, I have basic black here. This is four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half, so I'm just going to burnish this edge with my bone folder. Then I've got another piece of um, 
basic black that's four and five and a quarter. I'm gonna take that and put it in the embossing folder. And this again is the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. We're gonna put that in. We're gonna run it through our um, Big Boss. And when you do that, this is what it's gonna look like. And this is just like, it looks like a plastered wall, right? A painted texture. It's so very cool. Okay, so we have that down. Let me put this back. Then we've got our designer series paper and I chose to use the one, oh, let me grab it for you. It's the one that has the big pattern on it. Hang on a second. Very, very, very white. Lots of white. Oh, maybe I used most of it up, you guys. Uh, oh, I can't even find it. Well, darn. Hang on a second. I have more paper. Maybe if I can find it. Take a drink. <laughs> I can't find my paper. Still looking. Here's a pack. My goodness, why does that happen to me? <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Yeah, Linda says that black looks amazing embossed with the pattern. It really does. It's very cool. Okay, so here's a new pack of paper. I just wanted to show you which one this is with that pretty orange on the back because you could use this. This would make a beautiful scrapbooking background page. This is the one I was talking about. So you see, like, this piece is from up over here, and I'm going to use this side of it. And then this piece is from over in here someplace, so I'm going to use that side of that. Does that make sense? Or I could take this and put it in a 12 by 12 scrapbook page and just use this whole page, right? Very pretty. Okay, now let me toss that over there again. All right, also, so my designer series paper here, this is four by five and a quarter, and this one is two and three quarters by four and a half. And please remember, all of these dimensions can be found on my blog right here. And this is my current host code. If you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code you're going to use if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use it. Uh, Sue Thomas, I'm not quite sure why you're posting links on my um on my Facebook page to a different demonstrator's website, but we can't do that here. That's kind of taking business away from me. So if you guys can just give me a moment, or if somebody can go in there and remove that, that would be great. And I know that, I, I understand what is happening here. Hang on a second, you guys. I don't know what's happening. I'm having some technical difficulties. Oh, for God's sakes. This won't let me click on it. So yeah, I don't know what just happened, but please don't share links on my Facebook Live. I know you're being helpful and I really appreciate that, but basically what it's doing is taking people to somebody else's store to buy stuff from them. Okay, so we're gonna keep going here. Um, oh, what's happening here? Oh yeah, I remember. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some stays on ink. Sue said her cat was sitting on her keyboard. I so can relate to that, Sue. <laughs> Thank you for giving us that giggle. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. First thing we're going to do, 
we're gonna take this big like solid flower image now I'm using stays on because stays on is gonna give me a much like a much more solid image when I use it and I'm gonna stamp right on this orange designer series paper <gasps> Kathy says she loves this paper I know it's so pretty then I'm gonna do the stem right in here oh isn't that just stunning I love it all right we're gonna close that up you always want to close up your stays on in between uses because um, it will dry out you can't leave it open like you can other ink pads now the next thing I wanted to do here is I'm going to bring in you are lovely now remember this gold piece I did I give you the dimensions three by four and three quarters this is gold we're gonna take one of the sentiments from the stamp set and we're just gonna stamp it right on the gold paper now um, did I even show you this <laughs> art gallery has all of these little sentiments in it and what's really nice is that the die set has let me get this out of here it has a die for these shorter sentiments okay and then it has a die for the longer ones like the thinking of you and congratulations and you are lovely okay but what I'm gonna do here with mine is I'm gonna bring in that classic label punch and I see that I smeared this just a touch so when you stamp on to the foil paper it can be kind of slippery so you want to kind of brace yourself and don't let it smear around you want to give that just a moment to um, dry a little bit stays on will dry nicely on here and now I'm gonna bring in this punch and I'm gonna line it up and punch it out okay so then we're gonna do some things to this and I stamped this first and of course stays on is a very quick um, quick drying ink now we're gonna come in with this heat and stick powder the gilded leafing hang on and I've got a just an, a, an old cheapo stipple brush any type of a brush I think a toothbrush will even work you guys if you have an old toothbrush that'll work too we're gonna grab some of our Versamark ink and let me grab a sheet of paper so that we can put everything back in our container so here's what we're gonna do we are going to take this stamp so we just did we just stamped with our big background stamp and now we're going to use this detailed one hang on my ribbons getting in my way here so we're going to take our Versamark ink and we're going to stamp this right over our flower just like that close this up grab your heat and stick powder we haven't had heat and stick powder for a long time I was really happy to see this come back into our store and by the way I had an old jar of heat and stick and so I brought that out before I opened up this new one that I just got with this mini catalog and I tried to use it I don't know if it has a shelf life or what but it did not work well at all and I tried it several different times so if you find that your heat and stick powder isn't working well maybe it's just like I don't know I don't know what happened to mine but I threw it in the garbage because it just didn't work good it didn't stick nice it it seemed to not be as fine as this powder but here's the trick with heat and stick you guys heat and stick is not embossing powder it's a whole different animal so you only want to heat this until that isn't powdery looking anymore and then stop because if you don't you're gonna take all the sticky off so here we go that's it it happens very very quickly then I've seen people pouring this pouring this into um, containers I do have a container that Jamie gave me to put my gilded leafing in 
I just haven't done it yet. And I kind of like to do a tip video about it. So I haven't done it yet. But the other thing you can do is just take the gold leafing and just put it right on your area that you want to have the gold leafing on. And I'm just going to spread it out here a little bit. The other way is to put it in a container and dip your cardstock face down into the container and pick it all up. But I'm like, eh, this, I think this is going to work just fine. So I'm just, I feel a little bit more sticky. Let's get another little piece right over here. Now, I haven't used gold leafing in years and years and years, but it's a really cool product. And I can tell you that people have been making comments that one jar of this will last you for the rest of your life. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's really true or not, but I'm thinking it's probably pretty close. Now, you're just going to take your brush or your toothbrush or whatever you're using, and you're going to brush it on, and then the only place that your gold leafing is going to stick to is where you stamped it with the powder. Now, let me clean some of this up here. And I just dump it back in my little jar. Here's a little piece right here. I see this one's floating around. This stuff, don't have any fans on. Don't, don't have anything going on around this because you can see, you can see it just jiggling away. It's almost ready to float up into the air. It's super, super light. Whoops, did you see that? So you just want to be careful with it, but it is spectacular. There's some other techniques that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to be doing one of them in um, my online <clears throat> or my kit for the people who buy the kit class. You're going to get a really cool technique using this stuff too. So we're just going to keep working on this and I'm actually scrubbing it pretty hard and look at how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's get the rest of our card put together. This is Gilded Leafing is what this is called, and it is a fabulous new product. I absolutely love it. All right, now we're going to grab some mini dimensionals, and I want to grab a ribbon. So hang on a second. Where did my, here's my ribbon. <clears throat> This is what I'm gonna do. I've also got this in a different color that I'm gonna share with you so you can see another color layout or a different color of the designer paper, I should say. And then I'll show you where I got the original idea because remember that event that I went to in Oshkosh? Yeah, well, this was a swap card, I think, from that event. I'll know when I look at it again to see who made it. I think it was Elizabeth Giles. Am I right? Let me look. Yes, <laughs> Elizabeth Giles. So I will um, share that with you in just a minute. So I'm going to take two pieces of this beautiful ribbon and we're going to tip this around the back. Now it's a funny thing. I met Elizabeth Giles when I was in Salt Lake City one time and I don't remember how we ran into each other. I don't remember if she knew me and came up to say hello or introduce herself. But um, she was from Wisconsin. And as a matter of fact, she's from Marshfield, Wisconsin. And so that's close to where my mom lives. And so we kind of hit it off. And I think she was at in Salt Lake City at the convention by herself. And I said, oh my goodness, come over and sit with my team. We would love to have you. I think that's how this went down. So anyways, that was many years ago, and I've known Elizabeth for several years, and she was just at the event in Oshkosh, so that was fun. And this card is designed based on a card that she gave me, and I'll share that with you in just a minute. Here we go. Now, we're going to take that You Are Lovely, and, oh yeah, Lois said the um, Gilded Leafing, whoops, put that on here used to come in sheets, and yes, it did. I remember that from a long time ago, right? It's like, oh, this is that stuff that you used to buy in sheets, and now they got it on all these little flaky things. I'm not quite sure why it's like that, but whatever. <laughs> I don't care, I love it. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right down here, 
And again, this orange piece is the designer series paper from the Fine Art Floral. So I'll show you that one more time. It is this paper, front, back, okay? All right, now, remember this? We're gonna attach this to this right now. So we're doing double duty with that and using that as a layer to go on our card. So you could punch several different things out of there and nobody's ever going to know about it, right? What do you guys think of that? Is that pretty? Yay! Oh, and Karen says she's so happy to see this done. I was really excited to use it. Um, I wanted to use it for, you know, a couple weeks now, but jeepers, I got so much stuff going on. <laughs> it's like, rah! and put them on the back of this layer. And this is a fairly big layer, so I'm going to add a few of dimensionals. I like to use my take your pick tool and I stick it in and then push those, that backing up a little bit. Stick it in and then push it off like this. And then that'll pull all those backs off. My friend from Canada, Ashley Pfeiffer, taught me how to do this. Now we're going to take this and I'm going to set it right down here in the bottom right corner. Oops, hang on. I don't want my ribbon to be moving around. Oh my goodness. What do you guys think? Oh, it's stunning, right? I absolutely love this. Okay, now wait. There's a little bit more. So this is the other side of the orange, okay? And I know this is going to be painful, but we're not going to use this. Side. We're going to use this side. And what I have here is just some quarter inches. And I'm going to take a strip, a little bit of this strip. I'm just adding a little bit of glue to it. And I'm going to put it right down here at the bottom of my layer. You're like, Kelly, what are you doing with that? Oh my goodness, wait and see. I thought this was pretty genius and I do love this paper so much that it's definitely going on my next order now I want you guys to make sure that if you order if you order any of this paper or maybe you already have it get some more if you're gonna order this get at least two you're not gonna be disappointed it's so so pretty and I hate feeling chintzy about my designer paper because I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to use it because what if I find the most perfect thing that I have to make and then I don't have that pattern, right? Ugh, I hate that. Okay, so just two pieces of basic black. This is actually going on the inside of our card for to write on. For to write on. How do you like that? That's good English, right? It's going inside our card. This is going to be our layer that we can write on. What do you guys think of that? That's kind of pretty spectacular, right? Yeah. So, one last thing. Uh, hang on. I've got a piece of two and a half by six. And we are going to take that and put it on an envelope flap so that our I love to do that. Either stamp an image on the front, stamp on this flap, or... Let me push that up a little bit. Do this, and then we'll cut. Oh, I see. Who is that? Leanne is here from Kansas. You know, I have an, my aunt Sharon lives in Kansas, and so does my cousin Kathy and Carolyn. They're in Girard, Kansas. Do you know Girard, Kansas? And maybe my um, cousin Carolyn owns. Um, ooh, Annie's. What's it called? Annie's Chicken. Um, ooh, it's called something funny and I can't remember. Do you know what the name of that place is? But it's supposed to be like world renowned. We were there. They have fantastic chicken. Look at how pretty this is. You guys, I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Yielded leafing. Now, are you ready to see the other one I made? Oh, wait. We're going to put, let's put some of these on here. This, remember, comes with my kit. And I love these gold glitter dots and the thing I like about them also besides just being really really pretty is that you can color them with the Stampin' Blends any color darker than what they are right here that you need them to be. What do you think of that? <gasps> pretty pretty! 
I need to put some on this one too. Check this one out, you guys. Yeah. What do you think of that? I was just like, oh, these are so very pretty. Same card, just the different paper. And this paper right here that I used for this one is right here. It's this one right here. Now that page has a whole bunch. Hang on, let me grab it. I'll show it to you in real life. It has a whole bunch of like, it's real dark over here, right? But it's real light in here. And so it's this one right here. And this is my front. This is my inside. I think that's such a cool idea. And my envelope flap. And then the one thing that I forgot to do was I forgot to add, oh my dimensions are on the floor. Oh, and now my crown just fell. <laughs> Girl problems, right? I'm going to take, oh, I think I need to get some more putty out here. I love this putty and I use it, well you guys see me, I use it constantly. And then I'm just going to put some more, these come in three different sizes on here? I don't even know. But I love them. They got that gold glimmer in them. And where'd that go? Oh, it's on there. <laughs> I kind of know what just happened. Okay, so there. Now we got the gold glimmer embellishments on there. Yay! Thank you, Sandy says, wow, cards. Denise said, both those cards rock. Thank you so much. Thanks, Elaine. Elaine, I was down in your neck of the woods last night with uh, Mike and Vicki. Had a great time. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now, remember, this is my kit class. If you would like to order that kit, it is $55. It comes with a whole bunch of I've also left the option open for you to add the gilded leafing and the heat and stick powder. Like I've heard, this will last you your whole life if you don't like you know, go out in a windstorm. Oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Giles is on here. She's the one where I got this idea. So let me show you Elizabeth's card. Look at how pretty this is. I just looked at this and I was like, that is stunning. It is so, so pretty. So she used our DSP, our six by six color family DSPs here with the writing on it. And then I love what she did to the inside. I didn't know this. After I already did mine, or I would have probably done this, but you're going to see this on in insides of my cards um, in the future because I thought this was very, very clever. I love a little bit of something on that inside, right? But look at how pretty that is. This is where I got the idea. And thank you, Elizabeth, for sharing that with me. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm glad I saw you on here. Let me put your swap card back in here so I don't lose anything. All right, next up. Hang on just a second. I'm going to move these out of the way for right now. I've got another beautiful card to share with you. At least I think it's beautiful. I think you guys will agree. You're always, you're always pretty nice that way, right? <laughs> okay. Get these out of here again I stamped that flower on my cards with stays on ink memento ink will not get it this solid but <clears throat> one of the things you could do if you don't have stays on you do have memento you could use your stamparatus to stamp it a couple different times to get it nice and dark but you're definitely gonna want to stays on stays on ink for the um, foil paper this won't dry Ink won't dry on this unless you have some type of a permanent fast drying ink. So I just want to let you know that. All right, let me get this out of the way. Next up. Um, oh, and I have several cards to share with you guys from this whole, um, this whole suite. There you go. Oh my gosh. Where are my words? Hang on, I've got some notes written on here and I need to hang this back up on all my hangy things that are making a mess over there. 
So I bought a dry erase board to hang up on my wall as a to-do list because everybody thought I should have that. But it's not big enough. It's only about this big and I want like a giant one. So I gotta take it back, but why am I telling you that even? Huh. Oh, because of the note that I just <laughs> hung up here. Oh my good Lord. Um, all those notes are gonna be gone when I have my big dry erase board up on the wall so that I can keep track of my thoughts, I guess is a good way to put it. All right, hang on, well, whoops, hang on, cards are falling, cards are falling. Okay, here we go. I've got more of the stamps from that stamp set than the other stamps that I'm bringing in here. So this is, this is the art gallery, right? Oh, and while we're at that, this says, just wanted you to, and then you would use it with the words. Hang on. Just wanted you to, what? Just wanted to, just wanted, hang on a second, let me see what that really says. I already used it once today. You would think that I would know, right? But I don't. Oh, here's the paper I was looking for, you guys. <laughs> Make sure I tell you exactly what's in that kit. Um, here it is. Just wanted to say. That's what it is. Just wanted to say. That's what this die says. Just wanted to say, I miss you. Just wanted to say, congratulations. Just wanted to say happy birthday, good luck, sorry, thank you, best wishes, you are lovely, I'm thinking of you. So that's what this die is. And you can see here how absolutely beautiful that is on these cards, right? This suite is on page 32, 33, and 34. Gorgeous. Yeah, okay, so let's get back to work. All right, I decided to bring in the Heal Your Heart because I needed a more substantial... Um, sentiment that was going to go <laughs> in a circle. Oh my gosh, you guys, if I would have looked at my at my comments, I would know what it says, right? Because you're all telling me, just wanted to say. Thank you so much. I have to pay better attention to that. Okay. Um, cardstock pieces. Hang on. Yep, I set them over there. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting getting busy here. Bring in my little cheat sheet that tells me all of my dimensions. This time we're going to be using this beautiful paper. Oh, I love it. And hang on just a second. Uh, oh, I have I have two more cards to share with you using this layout that we're going to do right now. Okay, so this again is the envelope, and we are going to, I'm really having a hard time finding all my things tonight. I'm not quite sure why. Did I tell you guys? What did you guys have for supper? Because I wanted to make sure I told you about what I had for supper. Steve made this new recipe in the crock pot, and it was called Chicken Breasts in Gravy. And so you put the stuff in the crock pot and you cook it up and then you ha you shred the chicken and it's in a gravy and it's wonderful and you put it over biscuits, you know, like those womp biscuits in the can. <gasps> Just before I came on, he had it ready and I went downstairs and ate. It was delightful. And I said, that is definitely a keeper, right? Like, I love it when he comes up with these and then he's got another new recipe to try. He was telling me that. <laughs> um, he's in some type of a recipe group online. And he was telling me the other day that he found a recipe in his recipe group online. And I'm like, oh, you're on a recipe group online? That's interesting. I didn't, I didn't know this. And he's like, yeah, the ladies all want me to. Because <laughs> he cooks. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what kind of thing do we have going online there? Anywho, I thought it was kind of funny. I'm not the jealous type. Okay, we're going to bring in our paper trimmer. And I'm going to give you these dimensions. So this is pool party. 
This is a four and a quarter by 11. I'm gonna open this, get this out of my way. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna do some scoring. We're gonna score at two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. Tanya had wings. Julie had a veggie burger. Julie, Judy says, good job, Steve. Leftover mashed potatoes. Last night we had steak and um, cheesy potatoes in a crock pot. We went to this birthday party, right? And we had steak and a salad and mushrooms and onions. And we usually stay at a, okay, so two and three quarters and five and a half. We usually stay at a hotel and we go out to eat for this birthday boy weekend, right? Well, we weren't doing that. We were, we were going to somebody's house, one of the birthday boy's house, and we were just grilling out. So, and all these guys turned 60. Chris says Steve is so darn cute. Yeah. So they all turned 60. And um, so I decided since we weren't spending all this money on a hotel and dinner and all that stuff that I... I went to the grocery store and I bought lobster. And I know that's extravagant, but it cost a lot less than if we would have all went out to eat and paid for a hotel, right? So I was I was willing to spring for that and everybody was so like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you brought lobster. And I'm like, well, it's your birthday, enjoy, you know, whatever. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it, but I always have lobster for Steve's birthday dinner. And the reason why I do that is because I have put up with him for another year and I think I deserve it on his birthday. <laughs> and it's been a long standing joke in this group of people that, oh, we gotta get Kelly to get someplace where they have lobster. And I'm like, yeah, you do. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, next. <laughs> Pretty Peacock, three and a quarter by 10. We're gonna score this at four and a quarter. And seven and a quarter. And you guys, this is one of my Z Fold cards. I love Z Fold cards. I, j I just love them. I think they are super simple and so very spectacular. So we're going to fold this just like this. Okay, there's your Z, right? And I like to just make sure I burnish that edge good. Burnish this edge good. Boiled chicken with wide pasta. Mmm. Sounds delightful. Okay, then I also have a piece of pool party that's four by five and a quarter, and I've already run it through that painted 3D embossing folder, painted texture, okay? So I am going to grab this, and you can really use whichever side you want to be your front. It, it's completely up to you, and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the one that sticks out more. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right here in our card. Now I know this is tone on tone and it may be a little hard to see in the camera, but I think it's just a really neat look. And then, let's see, hang on. Um, next up, we've got some more pieces here. So we've got Whisper White. We're gonna do a little stamping on this. This time I'm bringing in this flower. It's this one right here. And we are going to stamp it in pool party ink. And I'm gonna stamp this right over here. Look how pretty that is, right? And I just picked up a piece of something. And then I'm going to do another one right up here. Okay. Next up, I've got, whoops, that's not the right one. This little one. And this one that I'm going to be using next is this little image right here. And it's just an overlay for these little flowers. And it's also an overlay for this one right here. So you can use it on both of them. And I'm going to bring in my pretty peacock. Ooh, Lisa had white chicken chili. Tanya says the sweet blows her away. I know. It's just so delicious, right? Okay. Pretty peacock. I gotta stand up so I can see what I'm doing. But you don't have to overthink this. Just get it fairly close to where your flowers are. You see how quick I'm going here? I would never do this if I felt like this had to be like perfectly lined up or anything. 
put just a little bit right there. Look how pretty that is, right? Now, this piece of, um, this is our basic white. This is three by four. We've got another piece of white. That piece is gonna go right here, so I want you to do a little dry fit so you know which way you need to stamp it. Like, I was gonna stamp it like this, and that would have been wrong. So, it needs to be like this. And, this is weird, it's got some, I don't know, like I set a stamp on it or something, but it won't matter. I'm um, just talking to myself. <laughs> Don't worry, I do it a lot. <laughs> we're gonna take this and we're gonna stamp this flower right down here. And then I'm gonna grab this one again and stamp right here. I don't like that one, hang on, because I didn't stand up to stand over it to make sure that it was where it needed to be. So I'm gonna stand up now. We're gonna put it right in there. There we go, that looks so much nicer, doesn't it? And then, and I think you guys, as I'm looking at this, I haven't done this yet, but as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, you stamp this one first in your lightest color, and then this one in a little bit darker color, and this one in your darkest color. I think those all three can go together. But I also like taking this one and stamping it right there like that, right? So, kind of cool. Okay, next up. Hang on a second, I'm losing my, there we go. I'm losing my stuff here, what I'm supposed to be doing. Here we have another piece of designer series paper. We've got two of them here. So we're gonna use this one on this, whoops, on this layer right here. And I'm going to figure out which way do I want it to go. I think I want it to go this way so that I can see more of the pool party that's on here. So that's kind of how I figure out oh, which way should I put it? That was my determining factor. I want to see a little bit more pool party. I love this print and all these colors with the pool party. I just think it's really, really pretty. Okay, now we're going to grab this piece that we scored and we're going to put this right here. So we're going to do that. This goes on this panel. And all these measurements, again, will be on my blog, which is right here. There'll be a link above this video after we're done. I'm gonna see which way does this go? Yep, it's gonna go in here like this. Now, I could put this one in here, but I think I wanna use this side. So I'm gonna put this on. But yeah, all the dimensions can be found on my blog, and the link to my blog will be above this video a little while after I get done tonight, because it takes a while to get everything uploaded and photos of all these projects because I didn't make them ahead of time like this particular color. So just so you know that. Okay, now, how do we get this in here? So we're, what we're gonna do, this is what I did, is I you take this and you fold it like this, right? I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put some glue right here on that back panel, okay? And now you're gonna kinda open this up a little bit and feed it over this right here. And now I'm gonna close everything and I just want this center panel right here to be centered on my whole card, okay? So now what we have is this, which is dumb, right? <laughs> but now we're gonna put some glue right under this part. So I can see that this should be glued on the back up to about here. So you just have to kind of do a dry fit and then figure out where you need that glue, okay? Just like that. And here's our Z-fold. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's always so spectacular and it's so easy. Okay, so next up, we're going to take some of the ribbon. And now remember, I gotta find my glue down. The ribbon um, comes with the kit. I have a kit using this. In case you came in late, I have a kit using this. Um, uh, several of these products. You'll find all the details on my blog and they're posted on this Facebook page. But um, I have a kit using this where you can get eight cards in a pre cut card stack pack with a bunch of products. It comes with the ribbon and gold glitter dots and the designer series paper and oh, oh so many goodies okay now we did this 
Hang on, I'm missing a couple things. Then what I did is I did the stitched shapes circle and I'm going to bring in this stamp, Wishing I Could Heal Your Heart, from the Heal Your Heart. This is a free stamp set during celebration. As a matter of fact, if you buy this entire suite, you get two free celebration items. This is my free celebration item for a $50 order. So I'm going to take that with the Pretty Peacock ink. And you should probably stamp this first and then die cut it, but you guys know I like to kind of have stuff die cut so I can keep moving along and nobody falls asleep out there. Look at, I got edges on there. That's not okay. Hang on, let me wash it off. I, and you get edges like that when you push too hard into your ink pad. It's tap, 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 not squish and grind. Sounds like a adult movie, doesn't it? <laughs> She said, tap, 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 not squish and grind. <laughs> okay. And I don't watch adult movies, so <laughs> I just want to clarify that. <laughs> All right, next up. I got these. Well, let's see. What I, want to do? I think what I want to do is do this. this flower. I think I'll use this one. I'm going to take just a little bit of this. You guys like that, huh? Just a little bit. See, I just a little flower in there. Ah, oh, look how pretty that is. I love doing stuff like that. It just adds that. All right, and then I use our layering circles, and I die cut a pretty peacock. So here's my scallop. Here's my stitch circle. I use these to die cut. And oh look, oh this was my bad side because I got the edges on it. Remember, I'm like, oh look, I already did that, but I didn't. Now there's just a teeny weeny little margin sticking out here. See that? Very nice, right? <laughs> Deborah says I can count on you for a good laugh. Well, I'm so glad that I can help you out. I think that in light of everything, you know, as if COVID wasn't bad enough, now we have all this political garbage going on. We're not talking politics, so I do not ever talk politics on any of my social media platforms, but... Our country is in such a stinking uproar right now with just complete crazy chaos. I lost my take your quick tool. There it is. That we all need to laugh a little bit more, right? Tanya says she can't stop laughing. <laughs> oh, Anne's husband heard that and is wondering what she's listening to. Anne, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get you guys kicked off of Facebook. Okay, now I'm going to bring this in, and I'm going to put it right here. What do you guys think of that? Isn't that pretty? It's just a piece of ribbon I threw on here. I see my edge down here is kind of crummy looking. Let me grab my really sharp ones. I'm going to trim this up a little bit because it looks kind of ratty. There we go. Yeah, for all the husbands out there hearing, we're keeping it clean. Kim wants to know if this is shimmer paper, the white circle. It is not. It's not shimmer paper. It's just regular basic white. And then I decided with this one, I was going to use these beautiful opal rounds. I've been using the, the gold. The gold comes with my kit, but I'm going to use the opal rounds for this one. But before we do that, I need to find, here it is, my wink. We're going to do a little wink. Little wink of Stella. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little wink on the dark parts of my flowers, the pretty peacock parts. And I think that's just gonna add, let me see if what it, oh, that adds some pretty glimmer in there. I know it's hard for you guys to see in the camera, but just know that I would not lie to you about Wink of Stella, honest, on my stack of Bibles on my heart, put my hand over my heart, all that good stuff. I would never lie to you about Wink. It's there and it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, we need some of these little jewels. Oops. Get the embellishments. I love them. You guys like my singing? I know. I should never sing, right? <laughs> I try not to in public. But I'm a rock star in my car. I'll tell you that. Okay. What do you think? Pretty? Um, did we do our envelope? Yep. Here's our matching envelope. Look how pretty that is. <gasps> Stunning! Let me move some of the stuff. I got some other colors to show you. Um, 
Here comes this one. <gasps> Woo! This is petal pink. And again, I have, uh, there's petal pink in this paper. I don't see it there anyplace, but trust me, there is petal pink in here. I don't know where it is, but it's here somewhere else. And this is one of the other sides of a different piece of paper, but I used petal pink and basic gray with basic white and the designer series paper. Gorgeous, right? <gasps> Connie says, sing, Kelly. <laughs> you don't want to hear me sing, I promise you don't. <laughs> And here's our pretty little envelope. Gorgeous. Again, just a Z fold. They're super easy and oh, so spectacular. If you make a Z fold card, if you are not a person who ever um, does anything other than a card that just opens up, bless your heart. But I want you to start reaching outside your comfort zone. You do one of these, your friends and family are going to be like, what is this? It is amazing. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Marcia said Kelly's a household name now. Hubby always says, aren't you going to go see Kelly? <laughs> I love it. Yes, Sue, please do come in and watch the replay as soon as we're done. You're going to love it. But there we go with our Z fold. Okay, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Here is my original card that all of this came about from. And this is from one of my teammates. And she me as well. And isn't that just beautiful? She used Rich Razzleberry and then Flirty Flamingo for this layer right here. So now we have three beautiful examples of a Z Fold card using the Fine Art Floral. So for those of you that may have missed it, this is the Fine Art Floral Suite. Hang on, I'll get it open here. Fine Art Floral Suite. It is my newest kit class. The kit is $55. It includes a whole bunch of product plus enough pre-cut card stock for you to make eight different cards. Now just know that um, you get a pack of the designer series paper in your kit and I will be telling you in the video tutorials, which are private video tutorials for each one of the cards, I will tell you what size to cut your designer series paper because you're going to be using your own designer series paper. But I provide all of the cardstock for your bases and stuff. Okay, so for those of you that may have come in late, I am going to bring in... Oh, it gets so messy, right? <laughs> I'm going to bring in the other cards that I made too. Here's the gilded leafing. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here's our inside. I used the designer series paper on there. Thank you. Connie says I like them all. Oh, thank you so much. Hi, Kelly Perpick. Here's another one where I used again the designer paper on the inside and the gold, the gilded leafing, and some more beauties. And then I told you that I had some more cards to share with you. So let me do that. Look at how pretty this one is. It's got kind of the same, but it's different. And this is from my friend Jamie. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love that. Then here comes another one. Hang on, let me get this out of the envelope. This is from a swap. This was made by Barbara Dykhouse. How pretty that is. She put some yellow on her embossing folder before she ran it. And then she ran this through the Subtles embossing folder. This is vellum. Pretty, right? Hang on, i got to get this back in here. What else do I have here? Oh, I can show you this one. This was made by Julie Birschbach. She is on our team. And isn't that gorgeous? Look how pretty that is. And she's got some Wink Stella in here too. Knight of Navy and Bumblebee. And this is how she used her designer series paper. I really like that a lot. It's very pretty. Okay. Let's see. We've got one more here. This is by Sue Souza. Sue is also on my team. And I got this for, for from a swap. Let's see if I can talk. For, for, for. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Good job, Sue. Now, don't forget that during celebration, you get five packs of designer series paper. The 6x6 six six 
new paper coming out in the new catalog that doesn't come out till like, I don't know, May or June or something. Anyways, when you join, you get five packs of that paper for free. It's only $99 to join. Give it a whirl. You'll absolutely love getting a discount on all your products and being part of my team. Plus, you're going to get Stamp Happy Academy Basic Membership for free. That is a $19.95 value every single month. And you get all of my online classes for free each month. That's an $80 value. It's just a best way to go. Join my team. Get a discount. You're going to love it. Oh, hi, Julie. I see you're here. And Billy Peck is here. But this is really pretty, too. I really like this. That gray granite and that gray granite ribbon. That looks really pretty, too, right? Okay. Now, who has questions about Stamp Happy Academy? Because if you have any questions, I am happy to answer them right now. I'm going to just go over it a little bit again. For those of you who may have come on late, Stamp Happy Academy is a new website that I, um, along with my friends Barb and Dina, we're collaborating together on this website to bring you fabulous card ideas, stamping ideas, classes, live classes, um, online classes. It's just going to be a website to house all of these things. Now, I know a lot of you buy my online classes. You buy every single online class that I have for $34.95 a month for the premium membership. You're going to get all of those online classes. If you're buying them all from me before, you're paying at least $80 a month. For $34.95, you're going to get all of them. The premium membership includes everything plus three live classes each month. Those are called Stamp Happy Live classes. I'm doing one, Barb's doing one, Dina's doing one. Basic membership, which is included in the premium membership, basic membership, um, that has a catalog kickoff that's going on right now in it where we're Barb's doing live stamping tomorrow in the catalog kickoff. That's included in the basic membership that's available to all of my team members for free. And let's see, in that catalog kickoff, I'm just looking at my notes here so I don't forget anything. We have a challenge going. There's drawings for prizes in a challenge. We've got a color challenge out there right now. Um, there's the drawing is going to happen tomorrow morning, but there's going to be other challenges over the next week or two. I can't remember exactly what the dates are for the catalog kickoff, but it just started. And we also have a special host code that if you use it when you place an order, there's an ordering special. Four online classes a month are included in the basic. And um, like I said, Barb is going to be on the catalog kickoff for a fun class on Monday that's live. You can watch it live, it'll be pre-recorded, you can watch it later, um, whatever works for you so you don't have to be there live. Connie says the premium membership is the way to go. It really is because like I said, if you're buying all my online classes, you're spending, gosh, it, it, just for the PDFs, at least $80 a month. For $34.95, you're gonna get all those classes plus the catalog kickoff and other goodies along the way like we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff somebody asked if you get notified when content is added if you go to the website there's a place where you can click on um, get email notifications so anytime one of the tabs has something added to it you're going to get an email notification that something was added oh Deneen wants to know if I'll continue my Sunday night lives you absolutely you bet I will I'm not leaving you guys so don't worry about that. But yes, I will continue my Sunday night Facebook Lives. Um, there's some other things that I have going on on my blog too that I'll continue to do that. I'll continue to participate in um, some of the blog hops that I do. I know that I haven't done my Wednesday wait what tip video for a couple weeks, but it's because, you know, something's got to give. <laughs> We're trying to get this, um, all this stuff uh, figured out and loaded and whatever. So I kind of took a break from the Wednesday tip video. I hope to resume those also. 
Now, Wendy says, you mentioned we need to register an account, then choose what level membership. However, I'm not seeing how to register. Let me see more there, Wendy. Hang on. Um, I'm only seeing to choose your membership. Okay, so Wendy, I think that you're already a member, right? Did you already sign up as a member? So when you went to Stamp Happy Academy website, in the top right-hand corner, it says sign up. Or sign in if you've already created an account and I'm pretty sure you have already created an account you do not need to click on any of the other things there you're in you're golden you're listed as a team member um, Barb is the one who she is our CEO of membership services <laughs> so she um, she has moved you to a team status and um, if you would like to get Stamp Happy Live, if you're on my team, the only thing that you need to do that you're that if you would like it included is the three live classes a month, you need to get the Stamp Happy Live only, and that's $20. That's the only thing that at this point is not included in your membership as a team member. So that's the only thing that you need to pay for if you so choose, and it's not required at all. Okay, what else do we have? Are all other classes SU? All of the classes are Stampin' Up! Stampin' Up! products. We are Stampin' Up! demonstrators. So yes, that's a good question, Noreen. And is it too late to register? Cindy wants to know. No, it's never too late to register. You're going to go to stamphappy.com. No, stamphappy.ning. If you just type in Stamp Happy Academy, that's what it is, Stamp Happy Academy, oh my lord, you're going to find our website. And also, if you just go to my blog, www.stampabove.com, it's on there. You can get the link and go right to it. So, great question. Thank you for asking, Cindy. Charlene says, she is extremely excited about this new Stamp Happy Academy I'm announcing. Glad to hear you will have your Sunday Facebook Live. You betcha. I'm not going to give that up. I love playing with you guys. <laughs> You're so patient with me. <laughs> Cynthia wants to know how long the content will be accessible forever. It will be it it will always be there. We will just keep adding to it. So that's the cool part. It'll just keep growing and growing and growing. Kimberly wants to know if I will continue to offer my online and kit classes. Yes, I will. If you join Stamp Happy Academy, you get all those online classes for free. However, they do not include the product. They're just PDF files. If you would like to get the product, if you would like to get the kit with the pre-cut cardstock pack, you're going to find those on my blog, and there's ordering links for those. Um, what else? Is it calendar month or monthly from when you register? Great question, Lori. When you... Um, fulfill when you choose your subscription it's going to be from the date that you did it for a month so today is the 17th so it'll go until like February 17th that's a good question Judy says gotta have our Sunday fix I need my Sunday fix too Judy don't you kid yourself I think I get just as much out of this as you guys do honestly I love this time that I get to spend with you so thank you for that it helps me stay sane in this insane time also. Does anybody else have any other questions about Stamp Happy Academy that I may have missed? Let me know. Okay, I think I'm caught up on all of my comments. Okay, so this is my kit. If you would like to order it, you're going to find a link to do so. Um, above this video give me some time because I have to type all that up and get all those links in there I have to download this video and upload it to YouTube and then make it public and then do all the pictures and the <laughs> are you guys dizzy yet put my watermarks on them and edit the pictures and put them on my blog and do the whole thing but yeah um, Betty says is the monthly fee auto debit or do we have to pay it every month this is a subscription Betty so that's a really great question when you click on that subscription, it is going to automatically bill you every month through your PayPal account. You have the option to go in there at any time and cancel the subscription. Kathy wants to know if the content is always available. It is always available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 
Nancy wants to try the trifold. What are the measurements? I'm going to be posting all of these measurements on my blog um, as soon as I get everything loaded. So a little bit later tonight, you're going to find those, Nancy. I did list them if you want to go back and watch where I brought out all of the um, layers for these cards. I did tell what the measurements are for them, so you could go back and watch the video as soon as we're done. Okay, so Janie says the content is always there, but only accessible as long as we are paying the monthly fee. That's right. As soon as you stop your subscription, you will no longer have access to the website. Um, and just so you know, those classes, you can, you can open up the online class and save it to your computer or device or print it out or whatever, so you would then have them. So that's probably a really good idea, too. <laughs> Betty says, cool, I don't want to have to remember to pay it. You know, Betty, I just started doing that maybe a year ago where I started doing auto pay on like my cell phone bill and my cable bill and stuff like that because I didn't want to deal with it anymore. And I totally get that, right? Yeah. Okay, I think the questions are dwindling off. I think I've answered all of your questions now. You guys, please don't hesitate to um, ask questions if you have any other questions. But remember, if you're on my team, or if you're not on my team, you should join my team. But if you're on my team, you get this subscription service with Stamp Happy Academy for free. If you do, you go to stamphappyacademy.com and you click to sign up to create an account. You don't have to do anything else, okay? Don't click on any of the dollar amounts if you're on my team, unless you want the Stamp Happy Live option for $20. That is not included in basic membership. So, okay. Yay! All right, you guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you tuning in to me. You guys know I love my Sunday nights with all of you. Don't forget, I really appreciate your orders. Here's my current host code. You'll find an online ordering button on my blog right here. Also, if the Stamp Happy Academy isn't something you're interested in, we have the catalog kickoff going on right now. It'll be going on for at least another week. We've got three live classes coming up that will be recorded. You can watch later. You can get the catalog kickoff alone by itself for $10. That's also going to be a link on my blog. And um, if you happen to need catalogs, let me know. I've been sending out catalogs like crazy because our mail service is like pretty crummy right now, right? If you need catalogs, let me know that too. Remember, my blog is my landing page. If you are ever looking for something, you want to go to astampabove.com and you're going to find it there. Whether you're looking for online catalogs, the catalog ordering button, dimensions for the products, or even a shopping list or an ingredient list. What color inks did she use on this project? Everything is right here. That is my home base. That's what I call it, my home base. And, oh, you know what? I forgot to show my mail, you guys. Ah, I don't have much. I'm gonna go ahead and do that quickly. I don't have a lot of mail here. This is from Yolanda Rhodes, and Steve was really quite happy. He got a birthday card from her. I love this. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you, Yolanda. He's like, hey, look, I got a birthday card. I'm like, yeah, you. Then we got this one from Trish Andrus. You're one in a million. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous, gorgeous card. She says, I just wanted to thank you for the happy mail. It was my first time trying Zoom for a team meeting. I hope to know how to put my name on the screen next time. <laughs> We had a Zoom, Zoom team meeting, and this is the first time, first time that Trish had joined us. She says, I still have a lot to learn. I, I thank the teams for their patience. Oh, you're so welcome. And of course we're going to be patient because remember, I didn't come out of the womb knowing how to use Zoom, right? Like everybody has to learn how to use new stuff. Well, like this software, for example, I bought this fancy software that's supposed to make it easier for my Facebook Lives but I'm not comfortable with it yet. I don't feel like I know what I'm doing yet enough to use it. So maybe next week. <laughs> this came from my darling mother. And guess who made it? Uh, yeah, me. <laughs> it says, Kelly, thank you so much for all you do. You make our lives so much more enjoyable and fun. Love, love you to the moon and back. Love, Mom. Isn't that sweet? Love this. 
Then I got a card from Becky Miltenberger and I just love this layout. It's like a panel that opens up in the middle and then you have the backing on it and it's a thank you card. It says, thank you so much for the painted texture embossing folder. Ah, oh, Becky, you're welcome. Um, I never win, so this is fabulous and greatly appreciated. You can't say that anymore, right? I'm taking your great advice and using up paper packs. My goal, no hoarding of beautiful paper. Exactly, don't hoard the paper. Thank you for all you do to keep your, our spirits up and providing crafty inspiration. Becky, you are so sweet. This is one of my favorite papers, but I love this layout of your card. We have one more, folks. This beautiful card is from Debbie Madsen. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, so pretty. It says, thank you so very much for the sweet ice cream stamp set and punch. I enjoyed the Zoom party so much. Thank you with all my heart. So Debbie won at Bingo. She won the ice cream bundle um, for playing Bingo and winning at our team meeting. So that was really fun. We had a Christmas party last month in December, and we all were on Zoom. And we all got to play bingo, and it was just so much fun. So, beautiful cards, you guys. Thank you so much. I am going to let you go now. I have kept you long enough. Holy cow, it's 842. Shut your mouth, Kelly. <laughs> you guys have yourselves a wonderful week. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.